Don't you just love the noise after you fed all the sheep in the morning? Complete silence, absolute lush. But guys, welcome back to the cold channel, as you can see my breath, for day number 19 of the lambing vlogs. It is gonna be a busy one today. We've got loads of sheep to get out, and we've got some sheep to actually bring back into the shed. Of course, the ewe lambs are coming in. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today. If you do, please tap that like button, subscribe to the channel, don't forget, check the merch store out, and once again, I hope you enjoy. Boy, it is a cold one this morning. First time I've been able to see my breath in this shed. It normally stays it's a bit warmer, but I guess if you've only got 30 odd ewes left in, they're not gonna heat the building like there was when there was hundreds of ewes in. And it looks like you guys are ready for a feed. <laughs> that is just typical, isn't it? So just missed another single lamp, leaving me with 17 more chances for adoption. I have five Cades, three sets of triplets, which now means over half them need to go on singles, so we can't be missing them. Look who is back for another day of helping. James is back, the absolute superstar helper. First job of the day is we need to get some ewes and lambs outside because there are plenty that are ready to go. We got this lady here, as well as most of that row and most of the other row, so we're gonna have a full load today to go out, but, one thing I do want to catch you up on is number 68. So the one that was in the splints, the you that had the big teat, we're going to try get 94 onto her. So 94 is with her, full belly as well as 68. Obviously she's in a yoke because her actual baby, sorry, her actual lamb is probably the weakest of the kids. I don't really want to risk her starving or it starving, um, but we'll try and get 94 onto her full time. And then they, you make the most out of what you got. So we have number 128 down the corner, the second lamb with splint, just down here. And we're gonna start off by taking those off to see if they've worked. Really exciting because it actually did work on the other one. And we'll head this way. After the other lamb, I'm confident. As you can see, what we've done, splints on the legs, just like that, and it's done the job. Mate, you're gonna love this, trust me, because it might mean you can go outside later. Oh, oh, now that looks promising. Well, we'll know when you're walking. The other one, it worked on one leg. We did it again, it worked on the other, so we'll just have to see with this one too. It's a nice sized lamb. Yeah, strong lamb, aren't you, mate? Your mum's been feeding you. Oi, 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 calm, 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 calm. Calm, lammy, calm, lammy. James, if you slowly... Oh, that looks good already. We'll see. Oh. Do you know what? I think you need to build a lid. Yeah, I think it's worked on one. Literally exactly the same as the other one. So, as you can see, that leg is fine. This one still needs to build up a bit of strength. So, we'll rewrap that leg and pop it back with you and hopefully in a few days it works on that one too. Yeah, can you just see it's bending over, whereas on the other one it's all okay. Isn't that funny? Literally exactly the same as the other one. So that's come good. That'll take a couple of days, I reckon, and you'll be all right too. <laughs> Much easier. <laughs> right, so I know you're watching, so this is for you. I'm stealing the special pink marker. We all know Soph lambed her first ewe, so we're gonna put a pink spot on the ewe and lamb, so we know which it is in the field. So, this for you, Soph. There we are. So now, when you're watching the videos, we'll know exactly which the lamb and the ewe is that Soph lambed. That's mad. So three of the last four years were all seven, four, something, which means they were literally born on the same day and they've all had lambs on the same day. 
I don't know if that's a coincidence, but it's quite cool, I think. Well, back to the usual routine. Now the typical, load the lambs up, load the ewes up, go drop them off. You know the drill. We're 17 days, no, what are we, 18, 19? I don't know how many days in. We're so many days in, so you get what we're gonna do now. Right, I forgot, we're also gonna check all the mastitic ones because we're gonna get some of those out. We've got number 80 that's gonna go up, because obviously she lost the lamb, the one that had no, no, back, no back legs. As in they didn't work, that lamb sadly died. So she's going to go out. Then I think 118 and 119. Yeah, we're going to check these because I have not fed these for days. And they've been on treatment. So I'm fairly happy that these two ladies can go. Oh yeah, you've got milk, haven't you, girlie? You've got the milk. I think I'm confident enough to put you out. The problem, we can always bring you back in. Oh. Lush bag. That feels magnificent. Well, that is fabulous news. Two mastitic ones going out. Just going to check 148. She can go. You can go. Oh, this is a great day. Five. Five of them. Those five, James. The 10, we've just tagged, so we have 15. But they're all going in the first field, so I won't get mixed up. But I am literally the only person that will get excited about use without. It is mastitis, it's not bad, but we feel them as soon as they have lambs. So if they feel a slight lump, they're warm or hard, I treat them. As you can tell from the racket, that is the lambs loaded. Now we are ready for even bigger chaos. Yeah, it's because it's 15 if you think. Normally we'll do five or six. And quite a lot of the twins. Yeah, yeah. Good, good. <laughs> To go. We have made it with our precious cargo. Plenty of sheep to be let out. We are full to the brim. Look, plenty of ewes, plenty of lambs. Into a field on their own so they don't get mixed up. I say that every time, but just so you are aware. Come on, girls, fresh grass for you all. Woohoo! They do love fresh grass. If you start doing those, James, I'll be there in a sec. They used to look well. We'll leave those to pair up and we'll go and feed the main flock now. It is absolute carnage here at feed time. But guys, a lot of you have been asking the question, is that, have you seen much difference between the Abba Blacks and the Clins? So, not too much if I'm honest. Obviously, the Abba Black is a terminal sire. The Clin is a maternal ewe. But, at lambing, I'd say the Abba Black lambs are ever so slightly smaller, but they soon catch up. And they're probably, in general, slightly tighter to skin, but that's a bit generalized. Because what I'd say is, if the lamb comes out with a white head, I'd say it's more clinny. If it comes out with brown speckles, they're a bit more tight to skin than muscly. And I guess that's just because it's a crossbred. You're gonna either get more of one or more of the other. Obviously the clin is bred as a maternal ewe. So it's not actually designed, well, it's a maternal ewe, but it's also a dual purpose breed, so it's good for meat. Whereas the other black is purposely bred for meat. So I'd say they're the real differences. Haven't seen too much yet. I think we'll see the big differences when it comes to growth rates coming up to eight weeks old, because obviously their feed conversion rate should be a little bit different. If a lot of you know Suffolk, so they've probably got the best growth rates of any of the breeds. And then Charolais are very shapy. So mixture of the two makes an Abba Black. It's obviously stabilized and stuff as well. But all, all the lambs are doing their runs. They've just started doing that now. Oh, look who we got here. Talking about Abba Blacks, this 79 here, we can... They're two good lambs. 
Well, there they are, off they go. All okay? Yeah, yeah, thumb up, that's all right. Always worrying when there's some lambs left on the end of the field. Yeah. So I've had a little visitor come and see the sheep today. Do you want to tell me your name? Ella. So Ella has come all the way from where? Um, Burntwood. From Burntwood to come and see the lambs. And you've got two cade lambs yourself, haven't you? Have they got names yet? Yeah. What are their names? My brother's is called Bailey and mine's called Cookie. And which one was the one with the bad eye? Cookie. So Cookie came here the other week and we fixed his eye for him, didn't we? Is, I'm guessing that's your favourite. <laughs> yeah. So do you, I'm guessing you really like sheep. Have you got any other pets or anything like that? Uh, yeah, I've got three horses. Three horses? Do you ride then? One of, um, my mum had the big one, yeah. and then I got the other medium one, but I lost my confidence on that one. And then I have this naughty Shetland. Oh, you have a naughty Shetland. <laughs> Is it really naughty? Because once um, we was having a little hack, she ran, she ran yeah. and then I fell off. Oh, me, no. And she took me under the tree. <laughs> and then um, she, she stopped and my mum got off the horse, yeah. and then Elvis ran off, and then they ran off like Lily. Near um, the horse field, and no lady went to the <laughs> Right, so that is everything sorted this morning. All those ewes and lambs are out, and we have a little helper coming with us to go and get the ewe lambs. Obviously, we got James too. James has the most important thing the feed. Hopefully, they follow, we'll see. But um, they're over the other side of the farm, so hopefully, all we're going to do is shake the bucket, they'll follow us to the shed. But plans aren't always that simple. Do you think they're going to follow us? Yep. Hopefully she's our good luck jar. So we have the ewe lambs this side of the road. We need to go over the road, into that field and back to the farm. Our special helpers are blocking the road for us to make sure that nothing hits the sheep. And obviously we've got James with a feed. Go follow. Oh yes. Like clockwork. Oh we're Good girls. Come on girls. <whistles> Keep going. Come on girls, come on girls. Hop, hop, hop. Go that way. <whistles> In there girls. Good girls. Good girls. Well, there's always one. Always one. That is all the ewe lambs in, as well as there are some barren ewes in here. We're just going to check them out when we've got a minute. But as they were all together, it's just easier to get them all in. Massive thank you to Ella for coming over and giving me a hand. <laughs> Did you enjoy that? And we've got to find some more work for you another day, don't we? Because she loves working with sheep. So yeah, we're going to leave them there, and then we're going to get that shed mucked out in the next few hours. Go on lads, back you go. Good lads. Oh. Back where they should be. Right, we've made our way back down to check the ewes and lambs and we have a lamb on its own right the other side of the field out of the new ones we piled earlier. Oh, he's running towards us now. You alright mate? You got him? You got him? <laughs> so guys, I'd just like to say a massive thank you to our primary sponsor of this lambing series because without them, this would be really hard to do and that is A Plan Rural. So if you guys haven't heard of A Plan Rural, basically A Plan Rural provides tailored insurance solutions for small farms, large farms, or even huge estates, as well as vehicles like the one behind me. So whether you're a brand new into farming or an old timer that's been doing it for years, A Plan Rural will provide the protection that you need. Well guys, sad times as James has finished his work experience here on the farm. So he has just gone. Um, really good lad. He has worked so hard. I would definitely recommend anyone that's looking for any staff. If James comes and asks you for your job, give him a chance because top lad and he has smashed it this week. So if he's watching, massive thank you James and well done. But as he's left and he will know, we had a single lambing and she is lambing now. So we're gonna try and do an adoption 
unfortunately on my own, but as it is, it is, so we'll crack on. As you can tell, it's her, so we need to act fast. No, it's gonna be a big tough, isn't it? Yeah, big tough. Right. You got pink nose, so you can come. Stay down for me. Yeah. Well, this is slightly worrying because currently she hasn't taken to either the adopted or her actual arm. So I'm going to leave her 15 minutes. Hopefully, the hormones kickstart and she likes them. She has half licked the adopted one, but she's not even touched her own. So. If I leave her, I think she's probably just a little bit stressed out. Obviously, she's never gone through that before. She's chilling. Hopefully, just hopefully, hormones kick in. This is not going to plan. So, she doesn't like either of her lambs. So, I'm thinking we might have to go for the yoke option. Amazing sign, so her newborn lamb is suckling off her. I've also taken some colostrum off just in case I need to tube that lamb in a bit. She's finally popped the ewe with the huge udder. Has actually had her lamb, just look at that. I don't think I've ever had a lamb with an udder that big. Just, that's huge. Let's look, she's got another one to come, but it's a really nice big lamb. Apologies if the video was a bit dodgy. Do what happened there for you. This is the adopted one. That's the actual lamb. Nice full belly, which is great to see. The ewe, I reckon just needs a bit of time. Then I'm gonna let her out, possibly tomorrow. And hopefully she takes the lambs. Right, well that twin is getting on with it. We have given it like half an hour and I'm gonna try and adopt another one so while the cades onto this single, which is good news because it's less stuff to feed. Bloody hell. Is that a dry head? Yeah, quite nice and dry, haven't you? It's all right, I'm gonna take that. It's cold down here. The twins just had its second one. Oh crap. Well, that is those three all penned up. The two that we've adopted onto, those two. And then the set of twins we just had as well. That is us pretty much done for tonight, guys. We're going to end it there. Sophie's absolutely smashed it, helping me out this evening because she's a superstar. And it's going dark because my light's not working. So, guys, massive thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please tap that like button, subscribe to the channel, and most of all, I hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe. That's it, bro.